When you come to donate blood, this is where your appointment starts with a medical questionnaire and a blood pressure check. And that's exactly when Mike found out that something bigger might be going on. I'm Mike Leishner on AM550. Mike has been giving blood routinely for a while, following in his father's footsteps, who had to stop because of a valve replacement and blood thinners. I told my dad, OK, don't worry. When I get old enough, I'm going to make up for you. That was more than 25 years ago, and still he's kept that promise. I'll start donating on a regular basis because you can't, so I and I can. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic only reinforced the importance of donating. There's always surgeries, traumas, people having babies, things like that. That does not go away just because of COVID. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of our blood collection opportunities have gone away. In March, Mike went to donate blood. This is what I can do. I'm not a medical person. I don't take care of sick people, but this is what I can do to help. But the normal blood pressure check. And the lady looks at me and basically says, are you alive? Turned abnormal. Initially, Mike thought it was because of stress at work. The measure is expected to draw debates during public input this evening. I come back again about six or seven weeks later to try again. And again, a very abnormal reading on his blood pressure. It gets to the point where there's three people in the room and they're kind of looking at me and I'm like, I'm like a specimen here because they're like, are you sure you're alive? With growing concern. We can't tell you exactly what to do, but this is something if I were you, I would talk to your doctor. So that's what Mike did. I, I found out I had a valve that was failing. Just like his dad. And in September, he had open heart surgery to replace the valve. For me, that was overwhelming. That surgery also means he's on blood thinners for the rest of his life. And he can no longer donate blood. But now, two months out from his surgery, he's choosing to see the bright side. When I realize, no, this can be managed and you can still live out an absolutely normal life, that was when it started setting in that this could be attacked and tackled. And hoping someone else will step in and start donating blood, just like he did for his dad. For more information on donating blood, you can head to our website, waow.com. In Wausau, Sarah McGrew, News 9, WAOW.